Welcome to Winging It, a show where we talk about anything and everything important to the TUJ community. In today's episode, guests Dean Wilson and student Hoshi Hattori talk about some ways to make friends on and off the campus. And stick around to see who will win in today's battle of the guests. Sit back, relax, and go with the flow. This is Winging It. Welcome to the <laughs> Winging It podcast. Today we have <laughs> Dean Wilson and Toshi, who is the former student pri vice president and um, current uh, international business studies senior here with us. Um, and the topic of the this session is how to make friends, but we're winging it, so it could be it could go any any which way you like. And the first activity we have up front is the BFF challenge. <laughs> and how it works is you see these two um, erasers, whiteboards, and markers in front of you. So please take a whiteboard and take a marker. Sounds good, Toshi. Do, do you want a red pen or do you want a, bla a black pen? I'll go red. All right. As a sense of love or something. Red it is. I'll go with black. <laughs> that way it clashes with my shirt a little bit. So I guess, I guess now we need to take a, the BFF yeah. challenge so one, one paper. Go ahead, Dean. So I'll take that. Okay, and you both have to read it out loud, please. Hmm. What is one thing you do that annoys me? And so you both have to guess. One thing Toshi does that annoys Matt. And if huh. Toshi gets the answer <laughs> correct, then he gets a point. Also, he guess what he is annoyed of me. Uh, he doesn't need to guess. You guess <laughs> what annoys me about you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's okay because this is a tough one. Too many, right? Huh? Too many. No, I just don't know what I would write. Um, boy, that's hard. I don't know what annoys me about you. Hmm. Yeah. Try to keep it short. Yeah. Hmm. So Let's. Minimum, Three, two, one, go. Graduate. No, you're not. What is it? No, you're not. That was a pretty good guess. I'm glad I got it though. <laughs> All right. So I get the point, right? I don't get any points. Oh, jeez. I thought I got a point for, anno for annoying him. <laughs> so now he gets to pick one, right? What's my shoe size? It's easier to get um, it in U.S. because centi right, centimeters are too close. Okay. Are we down to the point five? Or <laughs> we better not be. As long as you're in the same range. All right. Yo. Ready? My shoe size, right? Yes, your shoe size. Certainly not mine. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, turn around. Oh my God. Did he get it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I never asked you to buy me a shoe. Sorry, we're, we're talking about LeBron James's shoe that's sitting in my um, office at home. Yeah. So. Just the daily basketball stuff that we talk about. That's right. So what is, what is a food that I cannot stand? Something you hate. It's what I can't stand, huh? Garbage. It's got to be garbage. Good one. Turn around. Have you? Oh, I was right. Well, Lydia got it. Not <laughs> all. I can't stand the smell of natto. I mean, it's just like gross. You never liked oily meat too. Yeah, I don't like oily meat either. The so steaks and so on. That's right. That's why I get hamburger all the time. Yeah. A good steak isn't oily though. It so, is, yes. Yeah. It's got to be a good steak. Natto. Why don't you like natto? It smells awful. It's so good though. Oh, no, no, no. What if they it change the smell? Kills me. If they change the smell, it would be all right. It's so healthy too. Yeah, but the problem is you can you can actually smell natto from like the room away. It's like, oh my gosh, you're killing me. How so my so my family has to eat in a different room when they do natto, or I have to eat in a different room. It's just terrible. 
<laughs> or they just kick you out of the house. That's probably what they do. <laughs> it's like dad's dad's gone. Let's let's eat natto, right? Next, Next one. one. Yes, please. How and on what date did we meet? We we never went on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow can be the one. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Can I check on which like actual date or? Just yeah, do, you can. Does it have to be the exact date or can it be just a month? No, exact date. Exact yeah, date? Okay. Okay, nope. three, two, one, turn it around. May 7, 2020 at 10 p.m. <laughs> Did you get it? I, I, did, I did March. <laughs> I think that was probably my first interview as opposed to the student interview. So that makes sense. I so, see. Yeah. Let's do one more round. All right. Each. One more round of our burger fish filet here. <laughs> what is my animal spirit? Oh, sorry. That's spirit animal. Well, my spirit <laughs> animal, sorry. <laughs> He's spirit animal, right? Yeah. My what does he identify with? Hmm. That has to be simple. He has to have that. If not, I do. He has to quit the job. Oh, show it to each other. What? <laughs> bunny? Dude, the Energizer Bunny. Who is better at talking to people? Him or I? Right? Yes. Um, you're right. Who do you think? So and it's you a. Guess, you guess what? Who Toshi thinks? So it's a fifty. It's a fifty-fifty deal. It's hmm. a really good question. Da, 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 da. Okay, Ready? I'll go simple. I think. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Did he get it? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> he always has that <laughs> trick answers. <laughs> That's all right. Centimeter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you played your first game together at Sangijaya. How did your friendship blossom from there? Mm. I'll let you take that one. All right. Uh, so, uh, as I said, we started off as a professional settings in an interview, and then we interacted in student government, which was also semi-professional. Mm -hmm. um, and in the court, it was whole different. Our our relationship suddenly became more casual, more uh, friendly, I guess. Mm -hmm. We were always friendly, of course. Mm -hmm. it's not, we're not like allies. Uh, we're not like rivals, <laughs> we are allies. So uh, we were always friendly, but back in the court, we were different. You know, we, we have sports uh, wears on and we have more, you know, high fives. And that was when COVID was a little more relaxed. Mm -hmm. So I felt like we got more closer and we, we started talking about other stuff outside, you know, business related stuff. Mm -hmm. We talked about, you know, how you do with Noriko, mm -hmm. where, what she's up to, how you, your sons or daughters are doing. You asked me about my life and how my lives are mm -hmm. and, and lots of dramatic changes <laughs> happening between, uh, you know, our relationships and overall. So, yeah, I feel like the basketball definitely uh, enhanced our friendship. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, and that's, that's one of those things I think that's great about, you know, being on an American campus is, okay. you know, you've got the professional in the classroom, right. right, or in student government. But, you know, you've also got opportunities outside of the classroom to, um, you know, really have those things flourish. And, and, and one, one, th one thing, and, and Toshi understands this really well, I think, is, you know, if you are willing to put yourself forward, and engage, it's so amazing just the doors that open, right? You know, as I will tell students from day one, you know, engage with the faculty and engage with administrators. If you walk in my door, for instance, you know, we're gonna have a great conversation, you know, and, um, you know, really trying to, to put yourself into a more casual setting, you know, it really allows things to, to flourish as well. So. You know, I, I think, you know, those, those conversations on the basketball court, those were invaluable. Um, I've got this terrible habit of working late. <laughs> and um, so Toshi, you know, would wander in here, you know, particularly, you know, later in the afternoon, early evening, you know, we, we would talk about that. And then really just kind of, you know, doing, I think, some joint, you know, activities right. and projects together. You know, th those have also been great things, too.
definitely mm -hmm. yeah i would say that a lot of people feels like someone like you are up in the sky unreachable mm. but you're actually very accessible and mm. open and i really appreciate how you're always open to my annoyance i would say or <laughs> What I, whenever I come and knock your door, you're always open. Mm -hmm. yep. So, you know, that's a benefit of not only the Merck University, but what you provide, what you are open to as a, yeah. your leadership role. So. Absolutely. And we won't talk about the texts going back and forth <laughs> at, at 11 or 11.30 at night. Yeah. <laughs> that keeps Sometimes at 12. Yeah. Or early in the morning at Early six, in the morning so. at 6. That's right. That's right. So. What do you talk about at 6 in the morning? Anything, everything. Yeah, it really is kind of anything and, and everything. So, um, you know, it, and it, it could be something that's coming up at school. You know, it could be a whole, you know, it could be different things. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's almost like you have just this brain flash. And, yeah. and, and so, you know, Toshi recently did a, um, in interview with the American Chamber of Commerce of Japan. Mm -hmm. Uh, they put out a monthly magazine, and so like the other other night, he he reached out and he's like, "So, do we have the same time for interview? Or are we doing it different? Or are we doing <laughs> are we doing it the same?" <laughs> and then it was like, "What time are you going? What time am I going?" So you know, re really, it just depends on the on the topic of the day in terms of where things are. So yeah, just everything, mm -hmm. either about ourselves or about you know what's going on in the news or in society or about my personal life, his personal That's life, right. or academics or career. Or it could even be bento that, because um, <laughs> bo both, both of us were coming back from overseas travel and we were both in quarantine in different hotels. And so, so as, as, we were as we were both in hotels, Toshi knew he had a better hotel, with better bento. So he wanted to prove that to me. So he would send me photos of every meal saying, <laughs> saying, look what I got. And I was like, I can't even take a photo of mine. It's making me sick. So, <laughs> so yeah, to Toshi was like, I could stay in this place for 14 days. And I'm like, I can only stay in this for 14 minutes. Get me out. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, just, you know, it really could be anything. Yeah. So you obviously know each other very, very well. Uh, what is one side of the other person that you think most people don't know? Ooh, mm -hmm. huh. one side that people don't know about. Hmm. That's a good question. It's a good question of Toshi or of me. I know. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I, I, th I think I think one of those things, and I don't know whether people know it or not, but you know, so so, so Toshi is very loving. So he has a, a very <laughs> loving heart. Wow. And so I think that's one thing where, you know, is, is Toshi's very confident, very professional, will be very successful. There's also a, a very loving component to him as well that um, if you're close, I think you get to know it. You know, if not, I'm not sure. So yeah. that's true, right? It is. It See? Is. <laughs> I show my empathy to people. That's right. Of people, yes. That's right. Absolutely. Indeed. Yeah. That's a different side for Matt because he's open on anything and... You know, he's, he has no secret to, not only towards students, but to faculty and all those stakeholders around him. So it's hard, but he's actually quite modest. Mm -hmm. as, you know, he's a great leader with big success in various organizations and institutions. And, you know, outside he shows his confidence and his achievements. And not, not just uh, uh, formally, but also about the distress day or he's proud of what he does which is true but he's actually very modest on what he does which shows another you know se sensible part of the leader i thought toshi was going to say that i i'm i'm at heart a seven-year-old <laughs> 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 which is absolutely true <laughs> it is <laughs> maybe, maybe 11 or 12. Right? maybe 11 or 12. Maybe 11 or 12. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and especially 11 or 12 especially on the court that's right that's right, court. That's right. No fear, I'm diving around everywhere. Yes. Yeah, the jokes are flying. Yeah, the pranks are rolling. Yes. That's that's the seven year old in me. So. It would be stress day to have a dean's prank day. Oh, that yeah, <laughs> we would we would have a lot of fun doing that. So, yeah, I I, I have that. Um, there's there's a character that was really famous in the U.S. Dennis the Menace. Mm -hmm. Do you know Dennis the Menace? Yeah. 
So, so the thing that's interesting is Dennis the Menace, his next door neighbor was Mr. Wilson, right? <laughs> and, and, and so anytime that Dennis did something, you know, it was, it, you know, Mr. Wilson would be yelling, Dennis, right? So, so gr growing, growing up, I had this streak in me of, you know, Dennis the Menace. So like one day I took fish line, like, you know, fish line that you can't see, mm -hmm. and I tied it to one tree. This is probably when I was like eight or nine. And I strung it across the street and I put like all of these leaves and different <laughs> things. So it looked like these leaves were suspended from midair. I was just waiting for a car to drive by and the car is coming and they get close and all of a sudden they just see all these leaves like strung across. They couldn't see the fish wire. It slams on their brakes and I'm sitting there just laughing. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. So that was I, it was successful. Wow. It was successful. Yeah, so I've got that strength that I don't think I've ever lost. So you just have to catch me at home on that one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so previously you were talking about how it is that at an American university, as long as you engage, um, there are a lot of opportunities to be had. And I think um, a lot of people think it's a lot easier for the both of you because you're very very outspoken, very confident. And do, do you have any tips or advice for people who for that, they don't, it doesn't come naturally. Oh, tips and advice for the introvert, or people that are a little shy, or they just, you know, can't, or, you know, don't engage as much. Mm -hmm. So, and, and any tips that you have for other students in terms of how to actively engage? What's your favorite pickup line when you meet someone you want to know? The pickup line? <laughs> Ooh, do you have a set one? I don't have a pickup line, yeah. per se. Approach. Yeah, I mean, well, well, Toshi's thinking about it. I mean, I, I kind of think back even to, to my university experience because, I mean, I, I went to a really large university where, you know, I just felt like I was one in a, in a crowd of a million and nobody really, you know, paid attention and, and nobody really cared, you know, I mean, really those type of things, right? And, and I think, you know, more than anything, it's just you know, there are activities on campus, and it kind of almost goes back to the basketball thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there, there are activities that are there that are ready-made that you may be thinking, okay, what, I, I'm too busy to get involved with that, but literally it only takes maybe like one or two times to go, and at that point in time, that's when you start to develop friendships. You start to have those conversations. You see that person in the hall. You know, it's, it's really those type of things. Um, you know, and so that was probably what I learned during my undergraduate um, days was, you know, it may not happen in class because, you know, you're coming in and then you're rushing out. And so you've got to find a way somehow to engage kind of outside of the classroom. And, um, you know, with, with, with professors, with the dean, with other folks, everybody is doing this job because they want to help students, right? And I just think sometimes students don't realize that. And all that it does is it just takes, you know, opening up your mouth really, and then, you know, boom, you can start to formulate that relationship. Yeah. So, you know, st stay available and open, I guess that's a uh, key yeah. in uh, communications and making friends and elaborating on relationships. Yeah, yeah well, one of the cool things here at, at TUJ, for instance, is, you know, our size. And so you can get to know people, you know, a lot easier. I also think, you know, to find people with like, personalities or like interests. So you had mentioned, hey, if you're introverted, stay introverted. You know, maybe one of those things where the introverted folks want to get together. And so what type of club do you create? You know, it seems like every, you know, three or four weeks, we have a new club here at TUJ that, that, um, that um, jumps up. And it's great because that, that will, I think, enable folks to, to make friends and to do things like that. And it's been pretty tough during the pandemic when people aren't coming to, to school and they're not here on campus. You know, and, and I know as a university, we've tried to, to do some different activities to engage folks. And so, you know, I, that's, that's just my big advice is if I were to go back again and do my undergraduate career, I think there were so many great opportunities that were advertised that the university set up. Mm -hmm that I just deleted the email or didn't look at the email or I was like, oh, I'm too busy for this, where it probably would have been better if I would have gone and, and, mm. and done that. So Interesting. speaking of COVID, we actually have some questions about that um, from the TUJ community and some of them are like, how to make friends, new friends, 
during COVID? Or how do you feel like you're part of the school year and through all that because it's very hard and everything is online? Yeah. So how would, how would, you, how would you suggest, particularly from your seat as a student, right. to yeah. make new friends during COVID? Very, very hard. Very hard, I say, you mm -hmm. know, especially those uh, new friends that you meet online. Mm -hmm. It's quite hard to mm -hmm. develop relationship. And that was actually another interview question I was being asked at the ACCJ, mm -hmm. uh, the writer. It's like, how do you guys make friends during COVID? Mm -hmm. It's hard again. But, you know, Right now, with um, more scientific evidence and more understanding of this virus, we are able to meet like this with safety measurements and all those precautions. Mm -hmm. So, you know, stay connected uh, to those online folks, as well as, you know, don't be afraid to actually meet that person oh, um, in, on campus or off campus with safety measurements. Uh, you know, you don't even have to go eat or go drink, you know, all you have to do is wear your mask and stay five feet or wherever, how distance and just talk. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that, you know, with the current online platforms, we have lots of social medias that you can connect with and phone calls are available very easily. So those are the advice I would say towards the new folks that you meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's interesting. So I've got three boys that are um, kind of right around Toshi's age, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and so all three of them are, are going to, to university right now. One of them's in law school, you know, two of them are in undergrad. And so you know, it's been interesting watching you know, how they do it as well, right? And I think you know, there's different ways to do it. You know, one is, I think, because there are those safety precautions and measures, mm -hmm. Um, you know, coming, being on campus, trying to participate in stuff, you know, I think that is one thing. You know, we had a club fair, um, you know, recently where, you know, a lot of people turned out for that. We had a sports uh, and board game night, you know, a lot of people turned out for that. So there are those opportunities, even if you're taking all online classes, you know, to come on in and to participate in, in those type of things, right? I think there's also opportunities in a class setting in terms of, you know, if you've got a group project that you need to do for a class, right? You know, that's an opportunity to make some friends, stay in touch, right? Yeah. You know, text with them, you know, it can go, it can start with something professional, like a class project, kind of like the interview that I had. Mm -hmm. But, you know, then it can kind of, of span beyond that. I know like one of my sons who's studying mechanical engineering, you know, one of the things that he has done, and I've kind of watched him morph is, um, you know, talking about, okay, do an online study group, right? And if you can find other people of like mind and you, you can study, you know, and work through some of the problems, that's something that, you know, may be easier to do in an in-person setting, but, um, you know, it's something that can be done as well. And then internet stuff, right? You know, I, I, I see them on various internet sites and then reaching out to folks and then, you know, texting all the time and, and you know, doing that type of stuff and then getting together with them. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of that pattern. You may not see somebody face to face, but you, you can make that connection and you can suggest, um, you know, to go and do something. And it's not like it's completely unknown, right? Because, you know, if you're here in the TUJ community, you've already got something in common, right? You go to the same university, probably a number of the same things attracted you to the university. You know, here at, at TUJ, we have such a diverse community that's very international. And so it really attracts people that are globally minded and international. So I think, you know, their being part of the university has narrowed down, um, you know, kind of interest there so that you can find those common things to be able to talk to people about. But it's tough, you know, if, if, you're, if you're not in the same room, you know, it's just, it's not as, as real as it normal would be. And so you've got to be a little more creative. Yeah, it's tough, but one excitement and uh, those entertainment you have when you meet in person is how surprising it is to uh, see the person uh, compared to online because it's like, wow, you're this tall, you're this short, <laughs> or, wow. You, that's you know, what you look like. Yeah, that's what you look like. Yeah. In both, you know, good or bad ways. But <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's true. I mean, we, we, had a, um, we had an event after the end of fall semester um, for our faculty and staff, right. and a lot of the faculty 
I'd been here for, for 18 months and I had never met them in person. I mean, all the time interacting with them and I was like, oh my, you are taller than I thought. Or <laughs> So, you know, very, very, very interesting what masks Definitely. and Zoom has done Just to perception. This, this part of your yeah. world. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's even like when I see somebody walking down the street without a mask, mm-hmm. you know, I don't mean to look. Uh, but I look anyway because it's so rare to see somebody's face. (laughs) It's like, oh my gosh, somebody's face. You know, it's like, wow, live next to me. So it's kind of strange, Uh, but, you know, we'll we'll, we'll see uh, what happens here in Japan. So true. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up with one last question, which is what's your favorite memory you have together? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Favorite memory together. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a lot of them, and I don't, know, I don't know if I've got, like, a favorite per se. I mean, what, one, one thing that to this day, and I, I don't think anybody can ever top this, right? And it's not, I mean, we've had great times on the basketball court. We have great conversations, you know, you have great text chats. But, I mean, what, one thing that just really stands out as being distinctive is I have never met anybody who could talk Domino's Pizza or any <laughs> organization into donating 350 free pizzas and then just being able to hand those pizzas out with Toshi, who was 100% responsible for all of that, and then just the joy to see on people's faces where it's like, what, wait, I get the whole pizza? And Toshi's just smiling there because he, he knows that you know his hard work and <laughs> negotiation. <laughs> That is probably the most impressive thing I have ever seen a student do is, is to be able to do that. So, I mean, it's been, been amazing to see that, you know, the relationships he's formed in the, in the neighborhood with discounts and the whole bit. So maybe I do need to find a way to fail you this semester. <laughs> Very nostalgic. <laughs> That's right. You're not even gone yet. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we had Domino's party, huh? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, and, and I, I don't know, I'm probably never supposed to reveal it, but there may have been somewhere along the lines a, um, you know, a costume that Toshi um, was, 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 was inside of. <laughs> <laughs> the first one ever, um, and he'll go down in, in, in infamy for that. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave the elaboration on next time, but I was going to say that, I was going to say that that day changed my life, you know, that cha- that was a life-changing event. It did, yeah. absolutely. Uh, both professionally and personally. Yep. So I would say that that day he was talking about on that uh, special day was it. That's right. And I would also recall the first day that we talked about the interview was also very uh, memorable mm. and another uh, life-changing event that I experienced. Yeah. So. That was part of the reason that got me here. I guess. You yep. know, carpe diem. <laughs> carpe diem. Like there we go. Yeah. I don't know. We're playing a game. And, yeah, the, well, there's no water in it. It's just a challenge. So I think if you make it, you pull it out. That's right, Dean Wilson. Your opponent makes the cup. You have to pull out the challenge. And you have to do the challenge. No ifs, ands, or buts oh, about it. No. So what happens? I've got to do it. You have to open it. So I need to open it. Read it out. All right. Forty-second burpee jump. <laughs> Can you do a push-up? Yeah. Right. You're gonna split. So for, forty seconds. So forty seconds. Down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the two competitors went, with one competitor completing each and every challenge he was tasked to do without ever giving up. And the other, well, he did the best that he could do. Until at last, it came down, mano y mano, cup, e cup, cup, two cup. Who cares? It's the last cup. Who's gonna win? Nope, not gonna happen.